Hey everybody, this is Narina, respiratory therapist at Lofta. Today we're going to be discussing one of the most exciting things in CPAP. It's going to be the humidification cartridges made by ResMed for the Air Mini travel device, better known as Humidex. So Humidex are actually a form of HMEs, heat moisture exchangers. This technology has been about in the respiratory world for decades. It's typically used on ventilators in hospitals, but this is the first time waterless humidification has ever been brought to CPAP therapy. The way that these guys work is that these cartridges have these tiny paper ridges in them. Those tiny paper ridges will capture your exhaled moisture when you breathe out to go ahead and create moisture within the mask. So it's kind of like you're rebreathing the own, your own humidification that you've made. There's two different styles when it comes to all but the full face masks. There's the Humidex Plus and there's the standard Humidex. They are labeled on the package that it comes in and they're color coded. The standard has less paper ridges in it. So that basically means that it's going to hold less moisture. So if you're in a really humid area like Florida, for example, or you're in a standard climate, I'd probably recommend the Humidex the standard. The plus is going to be recommended for really dry, alt, um, dry climates or high altitudes because it has more paper ridges to capture more moisture. So with the Air Mini device, these smaller types of masks like the um, N30, the P10, and the N20 mask will have these smaller cartridges. The way that they're inserted is that the mask itself, the reason that there's only certain masks compatible with the Air Mini is because of these connector pieces that hold the Humidex and the diameter of the tubing. But you're just gonna open up that little placeholder and it's labeled Humidex on the actual cartridge so you know which direction it needs to go in. So we're gonna have the color facing down and you're just going to screw that into the mask. Now, the Humidex are not necessary. Um, humidification really is just a comfort feature. So if you decide to not use the Humidex, that's no biggie. It's not going to change the function of the mask whatsoever. Um, some people may know that the Air Mini also has a reputation for being a tiny bit louder than other devices, uh, right where the mask connects to the CPAP tubing. And people think it's because of the Humidex. Um, it's really just the structure of the device and the engineering. So removing or putting in the Humidex won't make a difference in noise levels. If you're looking to make a difference in noise levels, you might want to get a CPAP muffler. Now, the F20 full face mask is the only mask compatible with the Air Mini that has the Humidex compatibility. Um, with the F20, it doesn't come in a standard or a plus. It just has one style, and I'm assuming it's because there's so many paper ridges. So this actually inserts into the front of the mask. And then you'll have your little connector here and the tubing. So you just pop it in and out of place. Um, some people have used the humidification with their bedside unit. So if you have like an AirSense 10 or 11 and you have your humidifier, it's on its maximum settings, but you're still dried out, you may benefit from purchasing some Humidex and putting it into your mask so that you can get a little bit more humidification. Um, overall, with these humidification cartridges, it'll also be labeled left and right so you know what part of the mask it goes on. And they're really handy dandy. Um, some people do feel like it could mess with the venting or the engineering of the mask. ResMed wouldn't have produced these if this would be unsafe for us or kind of trap the carbon dioxide in the mask. So just be aware, these humidification cartridges actually took years to come out after the Air Mini was made. Um, the full face, the F20 mask never had humidification until about a year or two ago. So um, these have been engineered for quite some time to make sure that they are safe to use, but it shouldn't impact the way that the pressure delivery feels. If you have any questions at all, free, feel free to reach out to Lofta so that we could assist you with your humidification needs with your travel device. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care and have a good one. Bye.